Hello students and parents welcome back to my channel today i am going to explain you about the most important topic of biology that is animal cells and plant cells Cells are the smallest structural and functional unit of an organism which is typically microscopic and consists of cytoplasm and a nucleus enclosed in a membrane. All living things are made up of cells, whether plant, animal or bacteria. If it is a living organism, it's made up of at least one cell. Animals such as mammals, reptiles and amphibians and most of the plants made up of millions and millions of cells. There are two types of cells, prokaryotic and eukaryotic. Prokaryotic cells are smaller and simpler than eukaryotic cells, just like bacteria. Bacteria and other single-celled or unicellular organisms are made up of just one cell. Eukaryotic cells are bigger and more complex than prokaryotic cells. Although animals and plants are both eukaryotic, there are differences between animal and plant cells. Cell diagram is highly important to get good marks in biology. So let's see how we can draw a perfect animal cell in an easy manner. Animal cells are surrounded by only a plasma membrane. No cell wall is present in an animal cell. The cell organelles present in an animal cell are nucleus, Golgi apparatus, endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, and vacuoles. The nucleus of a cell controls all the activities of a cell. It contains instructions in the form of DNA. I will discuss the structures and functions of each and every cell organelles in my upcoming videos. So, my animal cell diagram is ready now, but don't forget to do the labeling of any scientific diagram. Now, let's see how we can draw a perfect diagram of a plant cell. There are differences between animal cells and plant cell structure. Animal cells are mostly round in shape. On the other hand, the plant cell structures are mostly rectangular or hexagonal in shape. Plant cells has a rigid cell wall as well as a cell membrane also. On the other hand, animal cells do not have any cell wall, it has only a cell membrane. Plant cells have plastids, which animal cells do not have. Chloroplastid contains chlorophylls, which take parts in photosynthesis for green plants to make their own food. A large central vacuole will be always present in case of a plant cell. To draw a perfect diagram of an animal cell or a plant cell, we have to do the labeling of all the cell organelles correctly. Most of the cells are between 10 and 20 micrometers across in size. So, we cannot see an animal cell or a plant cell without the help of a powerful microscope. But there is exceptions also. Do you know that ostrich egg is considered to be the largest animal cell in the world? So, I hope my today's video will become helpful for you. Stay tuned to my channel to get more and more dislike science tutorial videos for you. Bye-bye.